Good morning. Thank you for being here for the Head Investment Credit Fund update for the month of December 23. Um, the month was uh, slightly positive, around 30 basis points, predominantly on macro, uh, with Argentina netting 70 basis points of profit. Uh, Argentina is something we remain quite positive, within Milea's turn very much towards the center. The political opposition seems to be quite uh, uh, relaxed in terms of opposing Milei because of his popularity, and so we think there's going to be plenty of restructuring coming through. IMF is very supportive, and both Trump and Biden are very much uh, supportive as well of Milei and his new um, governance in Argentina. So overall, quite positive in Argentina. We still like them. Ukraine was a bit weakish in December, but again, we like them because we think there is a very high chance of some sort of you know resolution or at least some sort of uh, peace. Uh, if not a ceasefire in the very uh, next few months. And that could be very positive for Ukraine because we think the support from the European Union will be um, uh, structural and permanent. And we're not quite sure that Trump will change completely the polit politics of his uh, predecessor if he wins. Um, away from that, we initiated a short on government bonds. We started with the Italy BTP 10 year. We think the rally has gone a bit too far, a bit too fast. Um, we think deflation will come, but probably going to be the end of 2024, and it's going to be because of AI. So it's a bit premature now, given what's happening, given what's happening with, in the world. Um, we think overall deflation because of AI and because of the China collapse will be inevitable, but is not immediate. So we shorted Italy because we didn't like the uh, political stance of the government with respect to the ratification of the SM for banks. We think it's quite dangerous, quite uh, aggressive as a move, and we think both ECB and the European Union will have quite a, a hard time uh, to reconcile that with their desire to support a country from PNRR to TPI. So we remain negative. Overall, away from that, on the uh, corporate side, we had a good, uh, good month on TI. We think TI will basically um, go and cruise through uh, 40, 45 price by June. We think Vivendi doesn't want to really oppose it, like we said many times. We think the transaction will go through and so there's a decent chance actually of a private equity bid for a variety of reasons. Um, in the distress book, we marked down OI, which was a disaster in 2023. We marked it down to one cent on the dollar. We think there's plenty of upside given the package we expect to receive in the next uh, few months, terms and definitely before the end of 24. So we like it quite a lot here. And the book is much uh, cleaner from that point of view on the distress side. We have a lot of call option and potential there. Uh, within the market is going to be very volatile in 24, probably a lot more than 23, less unidirectional. At the same time, there will be plenty of special situations, especially in credit. Uh, we think the impact of monetary policy tightening is not over. QT is continuing. So be plenty of challenges for lots of corporates, lots of credits, and the macro side as well will be quite, quite attractive. Thank you very much.